Well, 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 we're back again with the tea sauce and this is its final form. I don't know if you guys follow me on Instagram, but this is the final form of it. She definitely looks good. I must say it has some decent weight on it. So this is the Holosun EPS carry that I opted to put on it straight milled, straight mounted to the slide because it is mount, it is milled for the Holosun EPS carries. I forgot it's a couple of more and I opted to put the Holosun PID on it solely because it has the adjustable blocks in it. A lot of people were having problems getting optics mounted to this thing and it is solidly, I mean, it is solid. She ain't going nowhere. And as fat as this grip on this thing, with all this weight, I believe she's gonna be a very good shooter. So we did the first initial shots. You can go back and look at that video. I stated that I made this for my wife for her to have a carry. I don't want her using a micro nine because it is just gonna have too much recoil. I don't like shooting micro nines and she doesn't either. Her wrist hurts. This thing is a lot easier to load. Yeah, you can shoot a full power nine out of it, but you won't have as much recoil simply because you have all of this weight. In a self-defense situation, she's not gonna use this thing a bunch of rounds. May use one magazine, Just it just all depends. May use one magazine, who knows? I've never been in that situation before, but she just won't simply have to expel a lot of rounds to be able to get on target. That's why I put this wide open, uh, that's why I put this open sight on here for it to acquire the shots a little more easier. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna run this thing again now, put some more shots into it. As of right now, I'm up to about 400 rounds. You're all low, so. Yeah, you need to aim up some. There you go. Slow down. Man, it's just getting smoother and smoother. So let's see if we're on. I know I zeroed this to uh, 15 yards. So let's see what she does. Oh. She, she doesn't like to accommodate that gloved hand in there too much. But I think we can work with it. That plate is very hard to fall, even with full power nine in here. These are 115s. I got one shot left. So what we're gonna do now, we're gonna transition over to the self-defense round. We're gonna run this whole magazine, buy once, cry once. It is what it is. You got to bite the bullet sometimes to have a peace of mind of self safety. My life is worth more than a box of bullets. So don't be afraid to run that ammo and make sure it runs. And I mean, my life, my wife is my life too. So don't take that the wrong way. All right. So what we're going to do now, we're going to crank down, get some very good recoil management and see what it looks like on this steel. We're out. Thought we had a malfunction. So it ran those. I had a little flinch there at the end because I thought it was out and I pulled the trigger a little harder. So it ran those. She is uh she's doing pretty good. I don't know how many rounds I did. I think it was maybe 30 rounds. So that's another 60 rounds onto the count. She has been cleaned and oiled. Uh let's get we're gonna do two more magazines and then I'll give you my thoughts on this. Probably do another video after this, but we're going to do two more magazines for right now and see what she's looking like.
See how that see how, feels better, don't it? A little bit, but I just went off. I messed up my grouping. It's oh, because like you you flinching. See? There you go. See, to... now you're getting it. I'm trying not to think about the recoil. Crank down on it as hard as you can, but where you don't shake. Ooh, that was hot. What was it, a shell? Oh. Yeah, see that group is a little bit better. Okay, we'll give you, <clears throat> since I don't have two cameras right now, I'm gonna give you the over shoulder view and see how she's gonna print out. So I got 17 more rounds of ball ammunition. This is the Academy stuff, the the uh, the brass plated Academy stuff. It's 124 grains. She's starting to break in a little more. That last video, she was very sluggish from the slide stop. Now it's starting to load a little better. Now see that recoil was a lot less. Right, uh-uh, put your hand, there you go. I flinched. Try not to. You still shooting a little left. Little more pressure on that thumb. Yeah, I can tell my wrist is starting to hurt. Yeah. But it was grouping real good, though. Yeah. Ooh, come got me. I think I got enough to run them fast. I think, if I don't miss. Let's try her out. So there we go again. That is a TSOS DS9 double stack 1911, 2011 ish. <clears throat> this hollow sun light. The solid sun light cuts down on that recoil a lot. So with all the weight on it, it does work well, but you do get a bad trade-off. It's weight, ounces equal pounds. And this thing is heavy. I don't know how much it is. It's not. So how you like it? I like it. I mean, I just got a, my wrist hurts. But other than that, I like it. I now, like as, that far, I can... as far as the gun feels, I like that because some guns, because of my wrist, in order for me to put a lot of meat and to actually get into the groove there, I have to turn my wrist and, and it get, makes it hurt worse. This one, I don't have to do that. It fits very nicely. Yeah, you got to keep in mind, it's got a fat grip to it. It's a 2011-ish. It's a double stack 1911, 2011. And it's got a fat grip to it. So yeah, and I, so I do like that. And I like the being able to put my finger here. It makes it feel more secure for me. I don't know how much it weighs, but I know it is heavy, but it is reliable. It is accurate. I would dare say duty, uh, just depends on how far down the road. I don't know if it's gonna eat itself alive. I hope it doesn't, but this is a very good option if you wanna get down that road to find out what you wanna do as far as a double stack 1911, 2011 style gun. Like I stated, this is pushing around $1,400 now with this particular setup. I think I'm going to get the trigger upgraded. I don't know because 
I don't particularly like real light triggers in guns. This will work fine for what she's gonna use it for, self-defense. <clears throat> I may just get some extended mags, probably do a different grip module on here if I can find one. But I think I'm just gonna leave it the way it is. This thing is rock solid. It is very dependable. I like it, I love it. My wife likes it, she loves it. She carries it every day in one of those little front facing packs on the front of her body. But yeah, see that thing just works good. Oh man, she's shiny. The barrel is not recessed though. That's what I was just looking at. The barrel's not recessed. I wish it was. I wonder if I can find a recessed barrel, but then I have to vet that barrel to make sure it's reliable and the gun is going to run. Overall, I'm going to have to give this thing a A plus because, whew, man, I love it. I I was skeptical coming into it. I didn't think it was going to work because of how affordably priced it was. It's not cheap, but it's cheaper than the other options. Some of the other ones just don't want to run. I've seen people saying the, the Gerson and what is that, the 2311. Some of them won't run. The Apollo won't run. Then I've heard people having good luck. The same thing with this. They're all having mixed reviews. I don't want to go out and spend $2,500 to $4,000 on a souped up staccato because if I went and got a staccato and put this stuff on here, I would have been looking at three grand easy. Um, half the price in with this. I could take that ammo, I could take that money that's spent left over and put it on ammo and training just like that. Oh, uh, man. It's, it's, it's getting smooth now. It's getting very smooth. Yeah, so when I first got it, when I first got it, it had like a little stick. It was sticking right there. Now she's breaking in good. That slide is getting smooth. I'm wondering with about another four or five hundred rounds i wonder with another four or five hundred rounds if i can actually get it where i can air rack it because she is she's doing fairly damn good right now if you guys want to see the full 1000 round review of this thing hit that like share subscribe come back and enjoy some more videos with me make sure you comment you want to see the thousand round review on this thing hit that like share subscribe come back and enjoy some more videos with me and i'll see y'all fellas in the next one out